What's good with the people, man? You know what I'm talking about? It's your partner, man. Who? It's your partner, man. You know what I'm talking about, man? How's y'all doing on this uh mind mesmerizing Monday? You say mind mesmerizing Monday. What are you talking about, bruh? You know what I'm talking about? Oh man, we gonna get into it. But before we do that, what's good people like he he ha ha. You know what I'm talking about? Ken in the pen, man. All my folks incarcerated, man. Uh all my folks who ain't, man, everybody on the bottom of that thing, everybody on top of that thing, man, keep that head up, you know what I'm talking about, keep pushing, we gonna get through it to get to it, you know what I'm talking about, man, did I say Ken in the pen, man, I don't know, but if I didn't, go get that stick up in stores now, man, you can go get you some off of 76 MacArthur Giants League is what I'm talking about, 82nd Hillside. Barbershop, you know what I'm talking about? They say somebody put them in their stores in the hundreds. Thank you, young man. Now, you know, because I tell you every morning, man. You know what I'm talking about? I tell you every morning, man. You can come get them things from me. You know what I'm talking about? But if all those fails, man, you can go and grab you some of them things off of Amazon. You know what I'm talking about? You can go, uh, make sure you get you a hard back, man. You know what I'm talking about? Funk and die trying also in stores. You know what I'm talking about? Make sure you go get you one. You know what I'm talking about? But if all those fails, Go get you a hard bag. You know what I'm talking about, man, from Amazon. You know what I'm talking about? Uh-oh, what's that? Swain, that finger, young man. Here we go. You know what I'm talking about? Come on with it, bro. Worldwide INC. Come on with it, bro. A worldwide corporated. Come on with it, bro. A worldwide. You know what I'm talking about? I ain't going to say what that means. I'm going to say, hey. You know what I'm talking about? It means everybody, bro. Everybody included. You know what I'm talking about? And Dugu, Mike. Cutthroat, you know what I'm talking about? Lil Rue, not Lil Rue, Lil Rue, you know what I'm talking about? Ta Ta the player, that's who comes next. Same thing, bro. Everybody on the bottom of that thing, everybody on the top of that thing, man. Keep that head up, you know what I'm talking about? Keep pushing. We gonna get through it to get to it, you know what I'm talking about? Let's get through these disclaimers, you know what I'm talking about? But before we do that, my mama said, my mama always said, boy, brush them whiskers when you on TV, man, you know what I'm talking about? Even if they got a hole in them, you know what I'm talking about, man? I almost forgot y'all. Coffee Chronicles. Y'all see bro over here drinking like the uh drinking like the college kids. You know what I'm talking about? Carmel Ribbon Crunch. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, man. <laughs> Carmel Ribbon Crunch. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, man. Uh yeah, man, uh Let's get through them disclaimers. A good brother like me, man, I don't promote no drug usage. No, no, no. You know what I'm talking about? Good brother like myself. I don't promote no uh drug sellage. No, no, no. You know what I'm talking about? Good brother like myself. I don't promote no alcohol consumption. No, no, no. Good brother like myself, man. I don't promote no uh. <sighs> I don't promote no, uh, crime. Hey, you know what I'm talking about? No, no, no. Good brother like myself. I don't promote no violence. No, no, no. You know what I'm talking about? Good brother like myself. I don't promote no domestic violence. No, no, no. You know what I'm talking about? Keep your hands off them people. People, you know what I'm talking about? I, you know what I'm talking about? Don't, you know what I'm talking about? Promote, you know what I'm talking about? No. Negativity. No, no, no. You know what I'm talking about? Me, man, I don't promote shit. You know what I'm talking about? They was talking to me. I don't promote shit. You know what I'm talking about? All I promote is y'all to do what you're going to do with your time, young ladies and gentlemen. Make sure you find the right thing to do with your time, young ladies and gentlemen, because we just don't know how much of it we got, young ladies and gentlemen. But a good brother like myself, man, I ain't prejudiced. No, no, no. You know what I'm talking about? A good brother like myself, I ain't got nothing against the sexually different. You know what I'm talking about? No, no, no. You know what I'm talking about? A good brother like me, I ain't got nothing against the... uh. Little people, you know what I'm talking about? No, no, no. You know what I'm talking about? Me, man, I ain't got nothing against nobody. They was talking to me. I just love me some everybody. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna quit. You know what I'm talking about? Bring that peace. You know what I'm talking about? That joy. You know what I'm talking about? And that love. You know what I'm talking about? That love. Back to YouTube community, man. You with me? Come on over here. Fuck with your partner, man. Hey, right, check it out. Psst, psst, psst. Come fuck with a nigga one time. You know what I'm talking about? Man, what's good with the people? How y'all doing on this, uh, Mind mesmerizing Monday. You say mind mesmerizing Monday. What you talking about, bro? Are we gonna get into it. Hey, I'm talking about. Uh, shout out to everybody who's standing still, but still smell like bowel movement <sighs> when the bowel breaks. <laughs> uh, I see. Oh, fuck it, man. Y'all talking about? Man, how y'all doing on this mind boggling? Uh, 
Not mind boggling, mind mesmerizing, uh, mind mesmerizing, however the fuck you pronounce that word, Monday. Hang on, talking about mind mesmerizing. You say, what you talking about? This is going to be all over the place a little bit, people. Because we living in some mind mesmerizing times. Now, before I start this, has anybody ever seen the skeleton key? Because if, if you ever uh, seen the skeleton key, I guarantee you missed some of this game they gave you up in there. Now, the skeleton key, y'all remember, they was taking the people, uh, they knew how to switch bodies and shit. So the two old black people just kept on uh, switching themselves to, uh, like, successful and established white people and shit. You know what I'm talking about? They kept passing down to people's house. You know what I'm talking about? But, uh... The game I got out of that, bruh, was that shit only work if you believe it. You get what I'm saying? So for their game to even work, you had to believe it. You get what I'm saying? You even had to believe, you had to bite in all that shit. And that was the only way it could work. You follow me? So, on this mind mesmerizing uh, Monday, because I know y'all been uh, breath, uh, still... Uh, Still uh, continuing coverage from inside the hurricane. You know what I'm talking about? It didn't let up now, y'all. I was somewhere last night, man. They had power outages and all kind of shit. You know what I'm talking about? <sighs> all kind of shit. But I'm in a hurricane, y'all. But uh, with all this old shit going on, man. Now, if you watch the news. You know what I'm talking about? And this is where the problem come in at. Now, before I before I get to saying anything, man, I, I just love people, y'all. If you good people, man, I salute you. You bad people, fuck you. You know what I'm talking about? I might still can fuck with you. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? I ain't no telling. Just to, it depends on what kind of a bad person you is. You know what I'm talking about? But, uh, it's the, the Bible, man. Now, I don't have nothing against the Bible. don't have nothing in God, uh, against God, bro. I believe in God. You know what I'm talking about? I don't really get off into that Bible because it's, uh, there's nothing wrong with the Bible. The Bible was written to to uh, mean what it meant. Now, the problem with that is here comes man. Man came and put his own two sin in on the Bible. So now man can just go to Bible verse and try to tell you that that means this. And that's where that shit get through off a little bit. But like say you believe in the Bible or whatever and you reading it, man, the news, this shit will start to look like the last days on you, won't it? Yeah, this shit will start to look like the last days on you, won't it? You'll start talking about fires, winds. This is what they was talking about in the Bible. <clears throat> now, y'all will sit up there and you will panic and all that. But realize when game jumping off. And I ain't finna get in that too much because I ain't one of these conspiracy theorists. And this is what I, you know what I'm talking about? I'm just going to tell you, realize when game jumping off, folks. Stop believing everything somebody put in front of your face, folks. Do y'all realize these people can fuck with shit to get the results they get? You know what I'm talking about? But they'll make you think, you know what I'm talking about? It's the Bible times, and if you believe in God, first of all, bro, you wouldn't even be uh, paying attention to that shit on the news. You know what I'm talking about? You know how these people work? They thrive off fear. They thrive off scaring you to make you believe something. You know what I'm talking about? Just like when they were saying that shit at the end of the, what was it, 212 or whenever that shit was. They had all the niggas going out buying batteries and all this shit that the world was finna end. Nigga, if the world was finna end, nigga, what the fuck is a flashlight gonna do? Some canned foods, bruh. The world was really finna come to an end, bruh. That shit is over with. <laughs> nigga, you don't, you don't need nothing, bruh. Y'all need to pay attention to the game sometime, bro. If the world finna end, bro, why do you need to go buy anything, nigga? The world finna end. Stop letting these people scare y'all into that shit, folks. You feel me? The world was the, the world finna end, but you are all you need a flashlight and water, nigga. Please. This motherfucker finna end, nigga. Everybody finna go where they go when the world end, nigga. You know what I'm talking about? But yeah, on this mind mesmerizing Monday, bruh, that's what I wanted to get into a little bit, man. Now, that mind mesmerizing shit, it, it, it covers and carries a bunch of shit, bruh. 
it covers and carries a bunch of shit. But over these last few days, especially out here, because it ain't never been no hurricanes and shit on the West Coast and all this shit, bruh. And you got everybody talking now. Everybody talking about it's a sign from God. And that's what I really don't be getting about uh, religion. I don't, bruh. Hurricane. Blow the wind down. Hurricane and blew my phone down, man. You know what I'm talking about? The winds are picking up, gentlemen. <laughs> Oh man, hey bullshit with you. I ain't bullshitting with you. The winds are picking up, a gentleman. I'm gonna roll that motherfucker up, so. How about that? You know what I'm talking about? The winds are picking up, gentlemen. But yeah, on that shit right there, man. Because out here, you got a bunch of, uh, especially the religious people. You got a bunch of people running around here screaming the last days and all this shit. And that's what, the, that's what I was trying to say. That's what I don't get about this religion shit, bruh. Is how man can tell you something. Because they, if you just look at this shit, bruh, they gonna try to play, they, they'll play with you like, uh, this religion shit is based on God and all that shit. But if you really pay attention to it, man, that religion shit is based on what a man say God said. That's what I get out that shit. That's just my opinion. Like, you ain't gotta agree with me. That's why I don't really like, I don't need nobody else to read me the Bible, bruh. I don't need nobody else to tell me nothing about God. I really don't, bruh, because I got my own relationship with God. And once you understand that, maybe you'll gather your own relationship with God. But I ain't, even, I ain't, I ain't into people coming up here telling me what God said, bruh. You feel what I'm saying? Because you got too many people running up here talking about what God said, bruh. And ain't nobody said the same thing yet. Ain't nobody said the same thing yet. And that's why I say it's just best for you to, uh, uh, have your own relationship with God. So when God, when you feel God told you something, you could just carry it out. Because I'll be wondering, like, if God talking to you and, and he telling you something for everybody, like all these people ain't got no relationship with God, they say, God came to one person and told this one person to go tell everybody, I just be seeing game in that shit, bro. And we got too many motherfuckers running around here talking about God just talking to them. And God told them to come tell the rest of the people something. You know what I'm talking about? Like I said, I got my own relationship with God. You know what I'm talking about? Me and God are all right. He'll tell me himself. You get what I'm saying? On some real shit. On some real shit. Just like when he told me to stop drinking. You know what I'm talking about? And as you can see, I obeyed. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Man, God will talk to you in mysterious ways, folks. On my mama. Now, you got to be paying attention. But on this uh, mind mesmerizing Monday, man, you got to stop letting your mind be mesmerized by all this bullshit that's going on out here, man. You just do. And life and... Because the way you think, bruh, is the way you're going to get through life. However you see shit is the uh, the way you're going to get through life, bruh. If you're one of these people that see that you just find a problem in everything, bruh, you're going to live life having hella problems. Cause you see the problem, you know what I'm talking about? It really don't be no problem. It's just that you see it as a problem, you feel me? But if you want these motherfuckers out here, nigga, to just live life by like, nigga, fuck it, nigga. You get what I'm saying? Fuck it, nigga. You just rocking, nigga. It is what it is, bruh. Then you gonna, uh, you, you gonna make it further than the motherfucker who always worry. You know what I'm talking about? If God say the same, you might not, you know what I'm talking about? You might, something might happen. So you might pass or some shit like that. But on some real shit, man, uh, how you see life, bruh, is how you gonna get through this shit. How you see life is how you get through this shit, bruh. But just as people, we be on some, uh, we really be on some follower shit, folks. We do. We be on some follower shit. We let these people just, uh, we let anybody tell us anything, bruh. We believe anything, bruh. You get what I'm saying? We, we, we sit around and we adopt other people ideologies out the blue. You know what I'm talking about? On some real shit. But it's always going to be about how you see it, folks. That's going to get you through life. You feel me? Because uh, I'm going to share something with y'all, too. All this shit, is, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to jump all over the place on this one. The title was Mind Mesmerizing Monday, though. You know what I'm talking about? Because as people, folks, we just go off of a bunch of ready-made-ass labels, bruh. And I can't stand running into people with all that ready, 
all that shit, marriage and this and that and that. And like, and I'm gonna tell you what that shit does, bro. It will, uh, it will have you running around spreading mis, uh, misleading information because somebody told you some shit that you believe. You get what I'm saying? Like, once again, I can't tell you nothing, bro. You gotta find the best way in your life to make the best way for yourself. I don't got no advice for you. I don't know how you do that, bro. You get what I'm saying? So I don't got no advice for you, folks. But that's what you're gonna have to do in life. That's what you're gonna have to do in life, bro. But we've been so brainwashed and fucked up as that we just come with some fucked up beliefs. And y'all don't even realize, bro, y'all respect labels more than y'all respect action. You feel me? Y'all respect labels. It's just like that marriage shit. Now, it ain't, man, probably 100% of the people that's talking about some marriage, man, it's probably 20% of them people that's really ready to get married in their mindset, bro. The only 80% of them people, bro, they just want that title. Because for some reason, if you say you married, uh, motherfuckers act like that whole some way. What the fuck do that mean? Like, I was watching some shit the other day, and the bitch, it was just a uh, movie, but the uh, this bitch mama got rid of some badass gang. She was talking about her and her nigga. She was talking about nigga. She was like, well, you, you better see if he's ready to marry you, because if he's not ready to marry you, you don't waste your time. Yo, what the fuck does that mean, bro? If a motherfucker is married, bro, do y'all realize this? You could be married. You just got married to somebody, and somebody gets somebody pregnant. The nigga who married can leave just like the nigga who ain't married, bro. Like anybody can leave your ass at any time, bro. You act like because you got this title, like a motherfucker might not change his mind. That's why it don't make no sense to be in a rush to get that goddamn title. It don't, folks. It don't. Y'all be in a rush to get a title. That's why you motherfuckers be getting divorced in a year and a half, bro. I'm telling y'all, seen a motherfucker get married, bro, and the next motherfucking. The same week they got married, bro, the bitch was already yelling that shit, talking about, oh, if I knew what this was marriage was, we could get the bitch was already talking about a divorce, bro. Ain't even been married a week because the bitch already got the title. You get what I'm saying? Motherfuckers just be looking for that title, bro. That title don't hold no weight, bro. You could be married to a mark. You could be married to a, a hoe. You could just, bro, bro, that shit don't mean nothing. It's the person, nigga. But y'all so motherfucking, that's why you'll just end up marrying uh, anybody. Because you're not really looking for a husband or a wife. You're just looking to be married. And we be out here playing them games, bro. All them label games, and we be coming to act like that shit whole way. And the reason I say that's misleading uh, information. Look, my niece came and uh, talked to me about some niggas once, man. I looked my niece dead in the face. I said, check this out, niece. I don't know. You get what I'm saying? I can't tell you who the fuck to like and who you don't like. I just said whoever you like, man. Uh, hopefully they like you as much as they uh, you like them. Do you get what I'm saying? Don't be no sucker for no nigga. But at the same time, don't sit around here listening to everybody, man. I know niggas with nine to fives, man. Good ass careers, good ass jobs, and some more shit, bruh. But they not better people than the niggas who do crime. They not. They not better people than the niggas who do crime. A lot of niggas done did crime and, you know what I'm talking about, grew up around them crime riddled areas and shit, bruh. They still good people, nigga. Some of the best people I know in this world sold drugs, nigga. They good people, folks. It's the person, nigga. You got good people and you got bad people, folks. On this mind mesmerizing Monday, man. Stop letting these people play them games with you, folks. Stop letting them people tell you, nigga. I wouldn't give a fuck if a motherfucker was a doctor or he sold keys, man. It depend on the person they is, folks. It don't depend on what they doing. Because everybody just got what God got for them, and that's what y'all don't get, nigga. I might be selling dope right now, nigga. In a few more years, I might be owning my own business because that's, that, that's the root God had for me, man. God might have had the root of selling dope for me, man. You know what I'm talking about? That's how I got to owning my own business. We too quick to judge people. You feel me? And this is one more thing on this mind mesmerizing Monday, man. Do you realize when somebody give you a suggestion of some shit, that's some shit they want? Do y'all realize that? People never put themselves in your shoes when they're giving you an answer. People always giving you an answer from what the fuck they want. Watch that, man. That's how y'all get a bunch of misleading information too, folks. 
Just like when a nigga was talking about the other nigga car. This nigga act like this nigga was supposed to go get his car painted the color that other nigga wanted or something, bruh. We be hella goofy with that shit, folks. I'm telling you, we just turned into big ass kids, bruh. We have. But that mind mesmerize and shit, bruh. Y'all y'all be mind boggled by uh Man, y'all be mind boggled by just bullshit, folks. Y'all be letting these people play and put thoughts in your head and some more shit, bruh. And we good for that. We good for letting these people put a thought into our head. Just like they trying to do with this weather shit. Now all of a sudden it's the last day. Well, if it's the last days, motherfuckers shouldn't have to pay bills no more. They still be talking about it's the last days. Then, then the next thing after that, they got a list of shit for you to go get if you ain't got it yet. Shit, if it's the last days, they should be giving that shit away, shouldn't they? Why you got to come? <laughs> like, I don't get that shit, bro. I don't get that shit. You should be able to just go in the store and get it. They should be giving that shit away free if it's the end of the world. If you, uh, the best game you can ever have is common sense, folks. And I'm going to tell you that until I leave. Best game you can ever have is common sense because common sense is, will tell you when game is being ran. But we just go off of too much, uh, we go off of too much shit, bruh. Too ready-made ass shit. Because it's like the motherfuckers before us did that. Like, we, it's like we've been getting raised by a bunch of motherfuckers who was just brainwashed. And like I say, the further you get back, it, it, the further they is, bruh. Because they closer to them, uh, when niggas was slaves and scared of white people and shit, bruh. They closer to that mentality. That's why I didn't like the South when I was little, I told you. It, it seemed like they wanted, I don't know, the, uh... And this ain't nothing against our love people from the South. This is why I just didn't like the climbing of the South when I was little. Because it seemed to me like they were still up under them slave teachings. And they wanted you to raise your kids like they was on the plantation. I don't like all that yes sir, yes ma'am. I don't like, I told y'all, my daughter, I, like y'all, that's a symbol of respect to y'all. That ain't no, res no symbol of no respect to me. You know what I'm talking about? That's that shit they got from them white people, man. Yes sir, no man, man, you ain't no motherfucker. Ain't nobody your master, nigga. You feel me? Ain't nobody your master. I don't like saying that shit. Yes, sir. Yes. That's how you know a bunch of you niggas be. Y'all quick to say yes, sir, and no, sir, when the police come around and no, sir. Yes, ma'am. You be in court and shit, don't you? You quick to get respectful then. I told y'all that. Mind mesmerized. They got us. But we'll walk up to each other, call us bitch ass niggas in a minute. Oh, bitch ass nigga. I can't give you life, folks. I can't give you life. We we'll disrespect each other quick as a motherfucker. You get up there in front of them white people. You got them button ups and shit, ties and shit. I'm like, yes, sir. Uh, no, ma'am. You know what I'm talking about? You get them talking real properly and shit. When you talking to me and one of your other brothers, oh, fuck you, bitch ass, nigga, suck ass, all that shit. We ain't gonna go up in there and talk to the judge like that, though, is we? <laughs> no, we ain't. You ain't gonna talk to the police like that, is you? No, nah, you ain't. I learned a long time ago, once you capture, you capture. That's when I start, that's when I activate. I start talking more shit than the I'm one of them niggas that don't ever go there. That's why I stopped doing that shit too. I was one of them niggas that they put you straight in that room where you can't even use the phone. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> I stopped doing that shit. Nigga fucking real, I can't even bail out this motherfucker. You know what I'm talking about? I stopped doing that shit. I was one of them niggas you see when y'all be watching that shit, to be in the wheelchairs with the bell. I was one of them niggas. <laughs> I'll tell y'all, I was one of them niggas. And I learned they only could keep you in that shit for like 40 something minutes because after that is a uh, cruel and unusual uh, punishment. So I wait good 40 minutes. Don't say nothing, nigga. When I, oh, when they got to come get me, I, I know they only could leave me up in here five more minutes for the next eight minutes. I'm on. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, I'm on. Shut up, punk ass, bitch ass motherfucker. And you better be over here in four minutes to uncuff me before I get mad. Oh, I get to talk shit to him. And when you walk over here, use your left foot first. Oh, I talk all kinds of shit to him, nigga. You got to let me go. And you know what I'm talking about? You only got five minutes. Or I'm going to sue your ass for cruel and unusual punishment. But just look. Just think about that, bro. They know how long they can cruel and punishment your ass. You know what I'm talking about? So after 45 minutes, is cruel and unusual punishment. But you just fucked up for, 40, <laughs> for 45 minutes, bro. That shit crazy as a motherfucker, blood. Have you ever realized it's like, how do you, how do you even know it's 45 minutes? People crazy, bruh. The shit they just deem. 
Shit crazy as a motherfucker if you just think about it. But on this mind mesmerizing uh, Monday, stop letting these people scare you, folks. If you believe in God, you shouldn't be scared anyway on some real shit. You should just got the belief, nigga, God got you. You feel me? You shouldn't even be scared. But stop letting these people scare you, bruh. Stop listening to these shit. Stop letting somebody tell you it's the last days, nigga. Stop letting these people tell you what you need or what you don't. Just stop letting people tell you shit, bruh. They ain't doing nothing but, the, nigga, they just, they finna sell you something, nigga. That's all they finna do, nigga. They finna sell you something. But stop listening to this shit, man. Nephew, sis, old man, old lady. Nephew, sis, old man, old lady. Hey, what you say, bro? Old lady. You know what I'm talking about? Stop listening to these people, man. Last days. I hope that motherfuckers have to stop paying bills then, bro. You know what I'm talking about? That's what I hope. If it's the last days. If it's the last days, it shouldn't be no more uh, Cosh Cable and all that shit then. You know what I'm talking about? You know, motherfuckers gonna have cable in the last days? You know what I'm I don't know. I can tell you the hurricanes are picking up though, gentlemen. You know what I'm talking about when it comes to this wind. <laughs> <coughs> Remember, brother, nigga that bought you from the side of the hurricane? <laughs> God damn, man. On his mind, mesmerizing Monday, though, man. Just as people, we need to grow up. Because when you grow up, you'll understand the way you was raised with some bullshit. And you'll stop on holding to the way you was raised. You'll stop on holding to that shit, bro. You'll start trying to get some new understanding and all that shit, bro. You'll just stop. You'll stop holding all that shit, mama and daddy and all them people told us and shit. If your mama and daddy wasn't telling you no shit like that back then, bruh, your mama and daddy might have been brainwashed, folks. If they wasn't giving you no game back then, but don't listen to these, uh, yo, yeah, they might have been brainwashed, bruh. You feel me? They might have been brainwashed, folks. Why you think, because when, when you was little, why you think everybody had to go to church? You don't think them people was brainwashed, bruh? Because that's the shit they had to do. And that's all we passed down, bruh, to the next generation. It's the way we was raised. That's why everybody keep getting this fucked up ass information. That's why everybody just, we well, is, even me, nigga. Got fucked up. It took me hella long just to understand a little bit. I don't even understand fully. You get what I'm saying? It took me hella long just to understand a little bit, though, bruh. Well, actually, I guess I did understand it in a way because I just lived a whole life and fuck these people. So I might have understood that shit on the default. Because it's always been fuck these people with me, bro. You're going to have to find your own way, folks. Don't let these people scare you. I mean, they're going to have hella consequences for you. To scare you. From reaching your potential, however it may be. You feel me? I'm gonna segue a little bit. But on this mind mesmerizing Monday, man. <clears throat> Stop letting these people play with your thoughts. Stop letting these people make you think it's just like the uh the social media shit. You feel me? I went to a job fair yesterday, bruh, and they had a social media uh booth. That shit was crazy as a motherfucker. And the way they was trying to explain that shit was like you was just going. It was a great career. But the way, if you read that shit and got to uh, looking at what they were saying, they was talking about they have opportunities for monetization. Man, you'll be on here your whole life trying to get a. Uh, <laughs> man, that misinformation, bro. They made that shit sound so good, folks. Man, you'll be on here damn near your whole life trying to get monetized, man, please. But all that is, they're going to teach you how to be the shock jock. If you really want to make some money fast and grow your YouTube channel, this is all you have to do. Talk about current events. Disrespect people. Find out other people's business and bring it to the forefront. You know what I'm talking about? That's the rules and be successful on YouTube. Or social media. Outlets. Stop letting these people tell you how to be you, folks. 
You feel me? Just be you, nigga. And make these people re uh you know what I'm talking about? Make these people respect who you is. Stop listening to these people, bro. That's how everybody the same person. That's why it ain't no originality and no shit like that, bro. And it's all this duck duck goose shit going on. You feel me? But yeah, this last night, man, you know what I'm talking about? All the church people came out the woodwork talking about the end of the days and this, man, ain't, this ain't what the fuck they was talking about in the Bible, man. That's what I be talking about, man, the misleading information. Because if you believe that motherfucker wholeheartedly, bruh, if you believe that shit wholeheartedly, bruh, like, motherfucker could play games with you, bruh, because there's a bunch of shit that's said up in there, you get what I'm saying? So if a motherfucker know you believe that shit, man, please, bruh. I keep telling y'all the con gonna come through what you like. What you respect the most, that's where the con gonna come from. That's where the con gonna come through at. On everything I love. See, there's some shit just like this. <laughs> and it's way off subject. <clears throat> but some shit just popped up on my phone. With some people I don't even talk to talking about. And this is how this shit will make you nosy. They just came on my phone and told me about some other motherfucker I don't talk to. And I could look at it, uh, uh, some kind of post or something that I haven't seen. It's a reason I ain't seen that motherfucker because why do I want to look at them people's posts? I don't even talk to them people. I don't give a fuck about that shit. And that's what I'm talking about, gentlemen. That shit right there, bruh. They'll try to make you nosy. They'll just have you looking at shit that don't even... So you could form an opinion on it. Hopefully you'll get mad or love whatever you're looking at. It's a nice day to be in a hurricane, man. You know what I'm talking about? But on this mind mesmerizing uh, Monday, man. On some real shit. You can believe that shit if you want to. You got the right to believe whatever the fuck you want to believe. But if you one of these motherfuckers is always sitting around worrying, you always going to have something to worry about. That's just you, and you choose to worry. You get what I'm saying? That's just you, and you choose to worry, bro. And uh, that ain't just how I live life, man. I like to enjoy life. I wouldn't give a fuck what's going on. I wouldn't give a fuck if it was good or bad, man. I don't like to be sitting around. And... Worried and all, man. That shit just don't do nothing for me. Because like I said, if you want motherfuckers that worry, bro, you always going to find something to worry about anyway. It ain't, ain't going to never be good. It ain't going to never be good. Because that's the way you think. Everything in the end of the world. So no matter what situation you come across, you're going to always think the worst. You're going to always think how the situation gets worse. And the worst in the, in the situation. <clears throat> it's just like if you ain't never been to jail before and you got arrested for a traffic ticket. But somehow in your mind, you done convinced yourself that you're going to the penitentiary for life. That's just the way you think, folks. You know what I'm talking about? And that shit right there is contagious. That's why, I, for real, all that doubt, that shit is contagious, bruh. So it's kind of good to, uh, to kind of monitor the type of motherfuckers you let around you, folks. It just is. Because if you got the motherfuckers, if you come from a household of a motherfuckers that d don't, didn't do nothing but worry, <clears throat> most likely they didn't taught you how to worry. You feel me? Because they was living life on the worry plan. You get what I'm saying? So they didn't taught you every problem you come across is just worry about it. You get what I'm saying? Like I told you, man, you just got to keep going to sleep and waking up, man. You know what I'm talking about? This shit out here, nigga, what the day bring, niggas, what the day bring, man, you know what I'm talking about? And who knows what tomorrow brings. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, man? You just got to keep waking up, man. You got to be excited, nigga. You know what I'm talking about? Some of us out here, nigga, act like 
with nigga, it was a problem that we woke up. You get what I'm saying? We be hella ungrateful as people. We be goofy as people, ungrateful as people. And um the game jumps off again. <laughs> the yeah, man. We just a lot of times as people we just be having the wrong attitude. We just be having the wrong attitude, man. And like I said, the niggas today, man, is getting more like the bitch. You know what I'm talking about? With the attitude. So everywhere we go, especially us as black people, man. And I love us as black people, man. But on some real shit. On some real shit. And this one right here is, is aimed toward is a is, is aimed more toward sis than the niggas that act like sis. Sis, for some reason, somebody that taught y'all like an attitude, like that's cool or some shit. You feel me? And sis, you 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 run around and display this unnecessary ass attitude, like you mad at the world, like I would, whatever the fuck. Uh, and somehow you think you supposed to give the world attitude, and they supposed to kiss your ass? No, you gonna get the same. You gonna get that same energy back, sis. And niggas that act like sis, just period, bro. Because as people, we think our shit don't stink. We running around this motherfucker like we a uh, valid Victorian or something. You know what I'm talking about? And we, it's like we live life like we want everybody to kiss our ass and bow down to our program or something. You know what I'm talking about? Like whatever we got going on, that's it and that's all. And we be lightweight fucked up as people. And sis, I don't know who taught y'all that, but uh, you just run around with an attitude. You feel me? Your face all frowned up. You got your your uh, your sassy mouth. You know what I'm talking about? You go everywhere smacking your lips with a, you know what I mean? Act like you the only customer in the store. Or, you get what I'm saying? Everybody got to come see what you want because, like, I don't, I don't know where we get that from on this mind mesmerizing Monday, right? But, uh. Sis, you be in jeopardy of uh, just causing the situation. You feel me? And then y'all sit up there and do all that shit till you cause a situation. And then when a the motherfucker go to put his hands on you or something else or, you know what I'm talking about, that just don't, ain't no call for, then you still want to sit there and play the victim. And that's what the niggas do now. Then you want to sit there after coming to these people establishment just handling these people a way that you never had to handle these people. And then when these people had enough and they start, uh, you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> start doing what they could do. You know what I'm talking about? Now all of a sudden it's a problem. Now you the victim. They doing something to you still. And I'm going to get on up out of here with this one right here. I've really been up here too long. You know what I'm talking about? But it's a beautiful day to be in a hurricane. You know what I'm talking about? Nephew, sis, old man, old lady. Nephew, sis, old man, old lady. Hey, what'd you say, bro? Old lady. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, man? Mind mesmerizing Monday it is. Man, I didn't come to you yesterday, so this is going to be a little long. But you know, people, if you let somebody play with your mind, your mind will be played with. If you let people sit up here and put thoughts in your head and shit and have you looking out for shit and all that, that's on you, folks. Believe whatever you want to believe. You get what I'm saying? Believe whatever you want to believe. I'm just going to tell you I don't want to hear that shit. I don't. You get what I'm saying? Because <clears throat> there's people, like I told you before, you see this shit right here, man? We want to we want to run around, and we want we don't treat people the way we want to be treated. We want to treat people uh, shitty. We want to talk to people any old kind of way. We want to disrespect people, and we want them to respect us. You know what I'm talking about? We ain't never wrong. We living in them days. You feel me? And what somebody should have did, and <clears throat> now we could think for other people. We could tell them with the, how they should have responded to us. But what do I know? Only you 
could prevent forest fires. And with them right there, man, if you don't remember nothing else, man, always remember it don't cost nothing just to show a little bit of that love inside the hurricane. Continuing coverage.